Hi, it's King J8 here, and this is the first LEGO video in a couple of months. It's been way too long, and there have actually been things happening with my LEGO City. So, the reason I'm here in the studio and not up by the city is because I have received a BrickLink order for some parts. So, you can probably expect a large amount of LEGO videos coming out in the next couple of days. There's probably even up to five, five or six LEGO videos that need to be made. So anyway, with this order, we should probably start with the small stuff in terms of size, not order quantity, and work our way up. So first up, I got these. These are 250 um, round one by one clear plates and if you haven't been following my channel for a while you might not know that these are for my America Tower so we're just gonna put those over there but now I need some round one by one light bluish gray plates or as some people like to call them studs yeah kind of problem there but at least I have the um, clear ones. So now we have a pretty big bag. I think this is the third most of a single piece that I got. These are 200 one by one gray bricks. Dark bluish gray. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you also know that I run out of building materials like just bricks and plates really quickly so that's why I got 200 of these and a couple of the other things that I picked up so those will probably go toward actually a project that I haven't revealed yet I'll reveal in the next couple of days so the next bag is definitely the most of something I've gotten in a while it's 250 dark bluish gray 1x2 bricks. So same kind of reason, I always run out of building materials and this is for a project that I have not yet revealed and it's also so I don't have to build just using 1x1 um, one one bricks. Unfortunately the store that I'm buying from did not have very many uh, light bluish gray bricks at this good of deal so I went for the next best next best thing which was dark blue spray so we're gonna slide those over there and I believe that the next biggest stuff bag is a mixture so this is tiles I also run out of these because I use them on right in between the wall where the wall and roof meet so that you can easily remove the roof of a building so in light bluish gray I got 1x1 one one tiles and also 1x4 one tiles then in dark bluish gray I have got 2x2 two two tiles there's not very many in there there's like 13 of the dark bluish gray tiles and like 30 of the light bluish gray tiles in total so moving along we have plates dark bluish gray 1x4 plates and these will be I actually don't exactly know what I'm going to use these for but I always run out so got those so the next biggest thing is 1x3 dark bluish gray bricks and these were actually really cheap they were just about almost as cheap as the 1x2's but the store didn't have as many of them, so I got 50. I think we're almost done here. But I said the store did not have light bluish gray bricks, but the one exception is 1x4s. So I really wanted 1x2 light bluish gray bricks, but they were actually more expensive than the 1x4s. 
So I got the 1x4 so I can actually build maybe a different building or replace some of the 1x2s I have in current buildings with 1x4s. The reason for that is because a couple of years back at the Lego store, at the Pickabrick wall, I found a bunch of 1x2 light bluish gray bricks and used them in the brewery mock. And that's and I'm actually redoing that right now, but I ran out of 1x2 light bluish gray bricks. So I really wanted to find those, but I got the 1x4s so now I can replace them because I obviously got a ton of them a couple of years ago. So I used them for as the primary building block in some of my buildings. So moving along, I think our next biggest thing is these. These are kind of to help with the roofs and floors of layered buildings, like the the modulars where the roof can come off. Anyways, just 2x6 dark bluish gray plates. Kind of the same thing, because I always run out and there are a couple of buildings that need the floor completed. So I also did get some 2x10, I believe. These are 2x10s. Not as many of them as the dark bluish gray, but they're bigger and more expensive, so that makes sense. And this is for the buildings that have light bluish gray floors and roofs. There's about an equal number of both. Now, I'm coming to the reason that I actually placed this order in the first place. And... I haven't revealed what I'm going to use these for, and I will not reveal them until at least a couple of days, but I need space, so I'm going to move all of these out of your view that way, so I can fit in this, as well as this. This is 62 panels, wall panels, I believe they are 1 by 6 by 5 clear and these are for windows in a specific building I have not revealed this yet as I've said how many times now like four but it is a huge project that will require bricks giant windows and plates it's also gonna be really tall so that's kind of my hints. So I'm actually going to bring all this stuff back. Back into the picture. Yeah, not, nothing... The whole, the whole reason this order was placed and the reason that it's so it was kind of expensive was because these. This stuff over here, like 250 of these actually... That was actually not very expensive. The same with 200 of these. Because these are like, what, 2 cents, 3 cents each at the store I was ordering from. It was these. They had them at a really good price. But to get a lot of them does build up the, builds up the cost quite significantly. So just those were like $30. But for this kind of piece, this kind of brick panel, that was a really good deal. And I need them for one of my buildings. So that's going to do it for this BrickLink haul. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. King T out.